Hi, my name's David from My Business English, and today we're talking numbers. We're looking especially at the decimal point. We'll look at where we use the decimal point, where we use the comma, how we write and talk about money in dollars and cents. We'll look at numbers other than money and how we use decimals with them. And we'll look at some differences between American and British English. So let's get started. So in most English speaking countries, such as America and the UK, but also a lot of other countries, such as China, India and Japan, decimals are shown by a decimal point and not a comma, which is common in many European countries. So if we're looking at writing money, here we've got a number $4.50. Then we'd have to show the difference between the cents and the dollars with a decimal point, not with a comma. Let's look at how we can talk about money. So there are different ways from shorter to longer. The shortest would be 495. And here we know from context that it means four dollars and ninety-five cents. But we can say four ninety-five. Common in the UK is also four dollars ninety-five or four pounds ninety-five. And finally, you can say four dollars and ninety-five cents. So here you're saying everything. Four dollars and ninety-five cents. And all of these ways are fine. Now because we have a decimal point, we need to show thousands and millions with a comma. Here we've got a large number, and you can see how the commas are used to show thousands and millions. The point, in this case, is for cents. The decimals here with money are cents. So what would we say? Well, 4,901,650 dollars and 95 cents. 4,901,650 dollars and 95 cents. Remember, and is usually weak, it's more an. But in American English, they usually leave out and between the hundred and the tens or ones. So they might say four million nine hundred one thousand six hundred fifty dollars and ninety five cents. In the UK, people usually use and. Now, if we're using other numbers that are not money, then generally each decimal number will be spoken by itself, individually. So here we've got a percentage. So here we'll say 3.45%. 3.45%. So four, five, the decimal numbers are said individually, four, five, not 45. Here's another example. You can say 0 0.75, 0 0.75, which is common in American English. Or you can say naught. 0 0.75, 0.75, which is common in British English. You might also hear 0.75, so leaving out the zero or the naught, 0.75. What you shouldn't say 
is 0.75. That's wrong. So, in summary, we've looked at the decimal point, the comma for thousands and millions, writing and talking about dollars and cents. We've looked at other numbers with decimals, where we say each number individually, and we've looked at some differences between UK and American English. So if you found this useful, please share and subscribe to My Business English at YouTube. Have a great day.